This is the wall and vice activity. Uh, I'm using this for grade 12 level um, strategies and tactics. Uh, the goal is to improve defense uh, when playing rugby and improve tackling and communicating while tackling. Uh, in the wall and vice activity that I made, uh, there's, you'll split a team. If you have a class of say 20, you'll split them into 10. And then those 10, they'll we'll split into five. And then you'll have five on, uh, there'll be two, it'll be three on two, but there'll be five people on both sides and they'll just rotate through. When uh, there's four, four options that the offense has. <clears throat> this player who's standing on the green cone can either run at a 45 there, here, or he can pass it. And this player can either run here or here. So the defense will have to uh, react and then the main focus of the, of the drill is the communication when this is happening. So I'll give uh, two examples here. If, if this player runs straight here, then this defender who's blue standing on the green cone will run across the offensive player's face and he'll set a wall, it's called a wall on the ball, in the direction that the ball carrier is running. So you wanna make them turn back the other way because all of your help is here. So this player will be running and yelling, wall, wall, wall. This player will be running so that when the offense player turns back, he'll be right there and he's yelling, vice, 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 and he's, uh, on the inside of him, and then this player will be running around and he'll be yelling, fill, 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 and he's basically just the cleanup guy. Um, when this player runs across his face, he's gonna, he still has to have the near foot to the near hip. So if he's running to his right, uh, then he'll be using his left foot, which is the near foot and he wants to get to the left hip, or the technically the right hip. Sorry, no, the left hip. And of the offensive player. <clears throat> the same thing happens if this player passes it here, and he goes this way. Now the wall player is the middle, is the middle defender, and he's yelling, wall, wall, wall. He's setting a wall here in the direction that the ball carrier is going. And then, oops, and then this player is yelling vice, 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 and now this player is the ball player. So, it's important to communicate when playing rugby, when, when we're on defense, because it makes it easier. Uh, we know what we're doing when we communicate. We know what others around us are doing. If we don't communicate, then this player could uh, run to the inside of here, but if he beats them, then he's running straight down the field with nobody to catch him. So it's best to set a wall on the ball, and he, he has to yell it so, this, so these two know what he's um, doing. And when they're in the fit position, they need to have their near foot to the near hip of the ball carrier. They need to be low, lower in proportion. They want their shoulder to be on the hip of the ball carrier. For this drill, we're not going to the ground because it's a classroom. We might even be in the gym doing this. It's not smart to go to the ground. Uh, but he'll have his shoulder on the hip and he'll want his cheek on the, the butt cheek, literally, of the ball carrier. That's why it's called cheek to cheek. So some cues are near foot, near hip. And then we want the shoulder to the hip and the cheek to cheek. And then we're just getting into the fit position, so that's all you need. And that is the wall and vice drill.